Very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from this beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea, yes, my dear friends. So I continue to read from that wonderful book from the later Bad W. I'm showing United States and Britain in prophecy dealing with the ten lost tribes of the house of Israel. A great a great super national union in Europe. A great super national union union in Europe. Europe even now shaping up will become the seventh and final revival of the Holy Roman Empire. This system house will according to Revelation 13 and 17, will come to dominate the entire world for a brief period of time. It is this powerful European superpower which will ultimately attack and subjugate America, United States of America and British people. It will also occupy the Jewish state Israel, call Israel in the Middle East. Our people are complacent and materialistic, the, the American people. They have forgotten their maker God and ignore his instruction book, the Bible, the Holy Bible. Yes, there is a day of reckoning coming. Most of our reading this booklet can expect to see it come in your lifetime. There is a way of escape for you and for your family. However, do I have any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, say the Lord God, and not that he should turn from his ways and live? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, say the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgression sins, so that iniquity will not be your ruins. Destruction. Cast away from you all the transgressions in which you have committed and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit. For why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of, of one who die. Say the Lord God, therefore turn and live. Ezekiel 18, chapter verse 23. 30 and 32. Yes, my dear friends, brothers and sisters. Yes, brothers and sisters. God's desire is for repentance and not punishment. For many, however, God will, will only get their attention to serious national punishment. Many simple will not pay attention to a message of warning and their will come crashing down upon them. What about you? God Church is taking Ezekiel's message of warning and of hope to the modern day house of Israel. It is vital that you and all of the people of our Israelitish nations understand what God would, would say in store and them that you act upon that understanding and that you act upon that understanding yes brothers and sisters yes brothers and sisters and i ever practice is playing my part by having this wonderful booklet written by the little but w armstrong dealing with the true identity who are the ten lost tribes of israel ephraim and manasseh i eric braxton I am not an I am not a black Hebrew Israelite. I Eric Braxton is not an Israelite. I am a Gentile. But spiritually in my heart I am a Jew. I am an Israelite. But fleshly I am not an Israelite and I'm not a Jew. But inwardly spiritually I am an Israelite. I'm a Jew. Because in the body of Christ, the church of God, Jews and Gentiles, we are all under sin. Jews and Gentiles, we are all one in the body of Christ. 
brothers and sisters. So I, Eric Braxton, this little Christian boy, let this little Christian child way down in Trinidad and to be Eric Braxton, I playing my part by recording this information that is contained in the book of Robert W. Armstrong and allowing this information to be available to you all. So you all too will take heed to this message, brothers and, si and sisters. And turn from all the sin and surrender all the life to God. And truly give all the hearts to God in repentance. Genuine repentance. And he will come in all the hearts. You, of course, you all will get baptized. You will accept Christ all the Lord and Savior. Of course, you all will join a Bible-believing church that observes Saturday as a Sabbath day. And began proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters. And taking the gospel of salvation to the nations of the earth, brothers and sisters for his honor and his glory, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Well, brothers and sisters, I am near the completion of this book. I am near, I am ending my, I am near to the completion of this book, written by the late Robert W. Armstrong. I wish, so I'll be com completing the reading of this book. In a short while from now, it have it have taken me quite a long time to complete the reading. But today I decided to read a little faster, to record a little more videos, so I could come to the end of this book. So I could step in into a, turn a new page and step into a next booklet, either dealing with dealing with which day is the Sabbath day, or I might start a new reading for the next book of Robert W. Armstrong, um, the book of Revelation. But we will see how it goes from there. But for now, I want to complete this book right now, um, which is United States and Britain in prophecy, dealing with the ten lost tribes of Israel and with Ephraim and Manasseh. Brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. As I said, it is essential and very important that you all um, watch the videos, that you all study the videos, brothers and sisters and go to the website Robert W. Armstrong website study his videos his teaching and um, um, write for the write for his publication the booklets uh, brothers and sisters that deal with the ten law stripes of Israel so that you all have a true knowledge who are the ten law stripes and that you all will not be confused or in doubt who are the ten law stripes are brothers and sisters brothers and sisters in Christ and the body of Christ. So I'm pointing you all in the right direction. In the right source, in the right direction. Yes, my dear friend, brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Ooh, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters in Christ. Oh, our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ is coming back again. He's the only one to change his world. And to make this world a better world, a place of peace, a place of love, a place of joy for one and all. He's the only one to show mankind the right way because he's the way, the truth, and the life, the light. No man come unto the Father but by him. He's the daughter of the Father. He's the only one to rule over mankind in the truest sense because after all, he is the one, he's our God, he's our creator. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is coming back. And when he come back to earth to establish his kingdom, his government upon the earth, where he and his saints will be ruling over the nations of the earth for a thousand years, teaching the nation his way of life, his true way of life, that truly bring peace, love, joy, true unity and happiness, and oneness. Yes. Only the government of God can produce that, brothers and sisters. Oh yes, the government of God, which is the kingdom of God, that wonderful kingdom, that heavenly kingdom, His divine government that He's coming to establish upon the earth, to bring peace to the world, because He's the God of peace. Oh yes, brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God, the government of God that He's coming to establish upon the earth. Keep in mind that God's kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. God's kingdom is an eternal kingdom that joyeth throughout all generations. 
brothers and sisters. It is a divine government, ruling government, and the head of that government is our Heavenly Father, and of course Jesus Christ. How wonderful, how wonderful indeed. Now, I've end on this, come to the end of this video. Now may the grace of God be with you and with me, and with the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.